not look good. No. Told you I got another camera. That didn't mean just not use the other one. You gotta, you gotta use what you got, right? The other class loved it. No, you're good. You're good. You don't even know. You're probably not even in the shot. But if you like get all weird on it, then, then you might be like looking all like, weird the whole time. You're just like this. I have a buddy who like every time I, I have the camera out. He like starts making these like faces at the camera and stuff. Well, he's like your age, so I mean, what was that movie? Where they're like models, but they're like idiots. Zoolander. Zoolander. Yeah, yeah. He does like Zoolander face poses. It's weird. Like sucks in his cheeks and stuff. He's like, put your essay right here. Pick up your essay two prompt and pick up your reading for the weekend. Like now. Like do this. Yeah, you want to take roll for me too? That'd be <laughs> a skit it. You'd be like, can I sing? Yeah, you can sing. You can dance if you want to. Also, everyone got a prompt. I don't like where that podium is. It's gonna like put me in the light. Probably a little bit better. And I can get my, my lean on. Yeah. Is this how you do lean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about your next one. The, uh, the first in-class essay, which is your second essay. The real, the cliche, and the subversive. As you already know, we are constantly bombarded through every kind of media with messages that try to persuade us. For your first uh, in-class essay, you will analyze a message found in the lyrics of a popular song to see how it is doing the same thing. Lyrically, songs can cover a wide variety of topics or contain very little to no substance at all. Sometimes they inform us, sometimes they preach to us, sometimes they're just trying to get into our pants. Here are some common themes that you've probably seen before. Love, inspiration, having a good time, success, struggling, rebelling. You might be able to think of songs just right off the top of your head that cover those themes, or even artists who it's like that's all they do, right? Can you guys think of uh, any, any songs that at least fit in those categories? Like off the top of your head? For what? For having a good time. Yeah, or, or, or what else? He's definitely successful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. What else? Yeah, no. Well, I mean, just because he says it's love doesn't mean it's not on that topic. That's what we're going to be exploring. What else? How about inspiration? J. Cole, inspiration. Oh, yeah, that's true. Logic, maybe. Logic, yeah. By the way, you can't do any Logic song for this. And it's not my fault, it's Logic's fault because he can't help it. He somehow has to go on YouTube and explain all the lyrics of his songs as if you couldn't figure it out yourself. So, blame him, all right? Um, but yeah, he's got good lyrics. It's just he somehow agrees that he has good lyrics and wants you to understand them like you couldn't have understood them though, so. Anything else that is just under the category of inspiration, but you're like, that's kind of weak inspiration. But it's like something that maybe a kid would like. Not you, but like your, your friend or, or like your, your sibling. Anything? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Like, <laughs> okay, it, you can't think of any artist that just like, that's all their songs are. How about like Katy Perry for inspiring? What song? You're a firework. You're a lion breaching through the fire or whatever. Uh, California Girls. That's so empowering, right? Don't you feel empowered? How about uh, rebelling? Nothing? Nothing on rebelling? That's more like punk rock now. What about like... A I crashed my car off a bridge. Eminem? Or Eminem, yeah, sure. He's Green Day. Yeah, Green Day. There we go. You got some. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, whatever the case may be, I'm reading again. 
Uh, there is always a method to each message. To be compelling, a message must have some amount of truth. Sometimes, though rarely, a message will try to convey plain truth, but more often it will present an unbalanced representation of reality, using stereotypes and cliches that either assert or subvert uh, society's norms. Your job, I underlined it for you this time, your job is to analyze a popular song and make an argument concerning its true message, including if that message is realistic, cliche, or subversive, in how it relates to real life, as well as how that message influences society. Uh, a couple other things before we get into all of that is uh, you can only use one song. I'm going to ask you to bring three songs in, and the reason why I ask you for that is in case your songs suck, right? You're going to write all three songs on the board, and I'm going to cross off ones that just won't work. And so when I cross it off, like if I tell you your song sucks, that's that means find a new one. You don't want to like struggle with it. Also, it's probably going to be beneficial to you if you don't pick songs that you really like. The, the biggest problem that I find happens to students is when they pick something where they just love the artist so much that they can't see through it. And so we're going to work on deconstructing that and, and breaking that for you um, in a moment. But just uh, just bear with me here. So one song must be popular, mainstream. Don't tell me it's got 20,000 views on YouTube. That's nothing. Ed Sheeran gets like 100 million in a day. It has to be mainstream. It has to be from this century. It has to be relevant. The lyrics also must be in English because I don't speak another language, so I'm sorry. I tried to learn uh, Mandarin and that didn't work out well for me at all because they don't even have an alphabet. Uh, anyways, I don't have another language, so it has to be in English because I don't trust your abilities to translate. Different class. All right, you need to discuss only one message in the song, so probably don't pick a song that, has like, that goes like all over the place, like where is the love, where they're just like, oh, this here and there and that and this, and then how are you gonna focus on one thing if they're just like all over the place themselves? Also, you're analyzing, notice the lyrics, not the music video. Do you see why that's important? Why is that important? Interpret it, interpret it, interpret it. Yeah, think about it like this. Okay, so let's, let's throw out an example. Uh, Josier, Take Me to Church. What's that song about? Gay and Yeah, would you guys all agree? It's, uh, it's about gay relationships. Yeah? Raise your hand if you think the song's about gay relationships. Okay, yeah, now, dang, no one else put, raised their hand. Thank you for participating. <laughs> Everyone else would have raised their hands, I'm sure. Okay, so the song is not. The video is definitely about that. But this is the thing with music videos. They are not always, in fact, most of the time, they're not the thing that the author had intended. Generally, someone else who does make music videos or does make videos, right, will be like, hey, I've got an idea for this. And then the writer of the song or, or the performer, whoever, we'll talk more about that too, will generally say, uh, yeah, whatever and they'll do it. Or they'll be like, hey, this is an application for it. What's that song really about? Take me to church. Homosexual relationships is just one way that that song can go. But it's not, that's not the only thing that that song's about. In fact, if anything, that's not even mentioned in the song because he is a he and he is referring to her. And they are both identifying like that, too, so there's no way that you can work it another angle. And so if he is talking about a girl that he feels like that about, then there's no homosexual anything going on in the song. Right? Yeah. But there is something about the ideology and the philosophy that he's working with. What is it about? It's about morals. Right? And so his morals, yeah, would, would endorse that and everything like that. That's... That's one application of it, which is why we see it in the music video, but that's not anywhere in the lyrics, and you're supposed to be analyzing the lyrics. So yes, I have had students do that because they just watch the music video and let the music video interpret the song for them rather than doing it themselves. 
What do you guys think? Wait, the reason you might think, now that the music video, the music video with a huge influence on it, I get you. It's that the lyrics, like... Huge influence on you. Yeah, okay, well, that's what most people think the song's about now, because that's, because that's how they okay. make the music video. Yeah. It's also the lines, like, the bridge, and he was like, for our gentle sins, only then I am human, only then I am clean. So I always thought that meant, like, because of the homosexual thing of the yeah. music video, that because he's gay, he would, or because a person's gay, they're not yeah. clean, and that's the whole comparison. Well, so, but that's, that's the thing. Is that the only sin there is, though? No, there isn't. Right. That, that was my yeah. connection to it. So, we do see in the chorus, he is saying how he has had a very hard time with organized religion, and he's, he's shooting, he's firing back, right? Uh, I tell you my sin so you can sharpen your knife, right? So, he's talking about how, like, organized religion has kind of, like, stabbed him in the back, right? Where, and so now, church for him is worshiping, like he worships through, I don't know, having sex or something, right? I thought the girl's a cover of the song. I mean, it could be a he, but it's not in the lyrics, right? Um, but you guys see what this is, how, how that's not actually refer, it's, if you just focus on the one application rather than, I mean, you could make it like one paragraph, like take for instance, homosexuality. This is looked on as a sin by the church and blah. And so you could use that as an example, but you can't use that as your entire thesis statement and, and say that that's the only thing it's about. You're limiting the song when the song doesn't even touch on it. So that's an example why you can't use the video. Now, you can watch the video if you want, but uh, I would suggest against it, actually. You don't want something else um, swaying you, without, at least first, right? You want to look at the lyrics raw without, without anything like that. Also, don't talk about the music, like the musical accompaniment. Don't, don't tell me how, like, and because this part in the song, it just, and it sounds sad. It's like, what does that mean? That's so subjective, saying like something sounds sad to someone else that might sound happy. Have you heard like other cultures music is just like totally different. So don't talk about something that it's just grasping at the wind. There's nothing that you can actually get out of it uh, that way, but you can get something out of the lyrics. The lyrics are the hard evidence for finding the meaning. So you, you see all these requirements here. There's no page requirement because everyone writes a different size. Yeah. So at least five paragraphs. And I mean, anything less than five paragraphs is not gonna be enough. When you think about five paragraphs, don't be thinking five paragraph essay. Your thesis statement should look different. The way that it's organized should look different. Um, at least the way that you, you argue it. Remember a unified argument, not like three separate arguments that should probably be like multiple paragraphs themselves. And we will talk about that later and notice uh, so we've got dates, three potential songs on this date, and then final outline. You're going to have two outlines that you get to do with this. So we're, there's going to be a workshopping that we do on next Wednesday when you bring those three songs. And then on uh, the next, on Monday after that, you will bring a revised final outline and you'll be able to use the outline while you write your essay. So you, you shouldn't have anything to worry about so long as you take it seriously. You like by the time you're writing it, you'll have everything you need. You'll have the quotes that you want to use. You'll have your thesis statement, stuff like that. It's just putting it all together. Uh, so if you worry with timed writing, you you shouldn't. We're we're easing you into it here. Let's see. The other cool thing is, look on the back. I even map out for you. Notice, this is what I expect in the essay, right here. Um, so this is for your own thought process of what you need in each body paragraph and in the, in the intro and stuff like that. And then down here, I'm telling you what we're doing on each of these days. And so even down here, I have a, this is what your rough outline needs to have in it. And then this is what your finalized outline needs to have. And so the final outline will be more limited, but it will have what you need. All right, I think that's it on that. Now we can talk about, let's see, do we talk about the, uh, oh yeah, ruining music for you. Let's do that first. <laughs>